All right, my name is Jackson. I'm going to be going over the uh, dashboard highlights for our cool call center service dashboard. Um, so we'll, what we wanted to do is we wanted to make sure that we could get the KP or key performance indicators um, and kind of go over by agent um, department and what they were doing good, what they weren't doing good, um, and trying to make it as easy as possible to understand the information without having to um, look at a, a lot of data. Um, so first we'll get it started off with, we uh, wanted to look at the average answer speed versus the average satisfaction rating. Um, just to see if there was a correlation between the time answered and if there were the satisfaction rating. So what we found is that actually there isn't that much of a correlation. So if you see, you can see that Martha has a 71.46 speed of answer. Um, so um, dark is going to be the uh, slowest time of answer and light's going to be the fastest time of answer. Um, over here, the highest satisfaction rating is going to be the darkest and the lowest is going to be the lightest. So if you look at Martha, she has a 71.46 um, answer speed, but the highest uh, satisfaction rating. So that doesn't quite to correlate. And the nice thing you can do about this is if you want to look at just, um, let's say you want to just look at, um, let's do this actually. You want to just look at Diane, Greg, uh, let's see. Okay, let's look at Stuart, Dan, and Becky. And this is going to change everything on the dashboard. These are all linked, these filters are. Um, so if you this anything that has Becky, Dan, and Stewart involved in this dashboard, it'll filter that out too. Um, but just for the sake of the average answer speed and average satisfaction rating, um, you can go ahead and correlate the two right by side by side. So Becky is going to have a 64.35 um, speed of answer, but out of these three, she has the lowest satisfaction rating of 3.38. So she has the fastest answer speed, but the lowest satisfaction rating. Um, so it doesn't quite correlate. And then you got Dan with um, 66.95, so he has the highest speed of an or answer speed. Um, so I started the longest speed of answer. So it takes him 66 seconds instead of 64 like Becky, um, but he has a higher satisfaction rate. So those two quite don't correlate, but it's nice to be able to see um, it very easily if you wanted to, to uh, filter that out. So next we're going to get into the agent performance by department. So this is by department. This is their resolvement, yes or no, which we think resolvement is pretty much the most important part of this. I mean, if they're resolving the questions or the problems that the customers have, um, that's their job, and we want to get the highest resolvement rate. Um, so we thought that this was a really big um, issue within the department. So that's why we have resolvement rate by agent here, um, agent performance by department here, and we also have department performance in, in general as well. Um, but this, again, we can filter out. We can filter out this through department. So if we want to look at just air conditioning, um, and fridges, let's just say that. It'll give us this. And let's say we want just, um, let's do just Joe, Martha, and Stuart. So this will tell us that um, in the air conditioning department, Joe has 35, uh, yes, is that he resolved 35 cases and 13 cases he didn't resolve. Um, so this you can tell, this is good for KPIs. This can tell you um, if per department, what, agent is doing better than others. You can see that Martha only has 27 resolvements and 19 um, no's. So this is a pretty good indicator. And she also has 19 no's in the fridge department too. So this could be a problem that if you maybe want to talk to Martha about um, as manager. Um, same thing, you got Stuart over here with 35 and nine no's. So that's really good for Stuart. Um, let's see, Joe's got seven no's and 33 yeses in fridge, which is great. Um, so it looks like Joe's actually doing the best out of these three. Um, but yeah, you can filter that through there. And this will tell you um, when you have all of them up, it'll tell you every department, everything. You can kind of hover over this and look at all that. Um, next, what we think is really important is the department performance by resolve. Um, we thought the pie charts were the easiest to read here. Um, so as you can see, air conditioning is the worst department and they're doing, they're doing the, the, the least amount of resolves. Um, so they have 110 no resolves and 150, or 252 yes resolves. Um, so if you're just looking at this really fast, you can tell that if you want to talk to your departments about air conditioning, or sorry, if you want to talk to your departments about performance, you can tell that air conditioning um, is the department's department with the, the least resolvance right now. Um, so and then you can see that uh, the toaster might be the best. It looks like it's the slimmest, um, 86 no's and 274 yeses. We also have the same thing down here for yes and no. Um, we wanted to see if um, yes and no answering. So yes, they did answer. No, they didn't answer. Um, correlates to this department performance resolve. And it looks like it directly does. So you can see here that air conditioning has 88 um, times they didn't answer the phone. Um, and that directly correlates to them performing the least. Um, over here, we have what we believe is the best chart for um, talking to the agents about their performance. Um, this is a resolvement rate by agent. This will include every single department. Um, but this is really good to look at quarterly numbers, anything like that, to see what they're doing good, what they're doing bad. Um, really resolvement, like we said, is their whole job is to resolve the call. 
Um, so you can see here that who had the most. So one, Dan had 177 resolves. So he has the most, and he also has some of the least. Um, he actually has the least. So Dan would be your number one employee for this quarter or, or whatever time frame this is from. Um, but this is really easy. And this is the nice thing about this too, is you can go up here again. And if you want to look at just Greg, let's see, let's do just Becky actually. If you want to look at just Becky though, this is really nice. The dashboard makes it easy. You can look at her average answer speed, her average satisfaction rating, her agent or every single department and her performance through that and her resolvement rate. Um, so yeah, that's sort of, that's our dashboard. It's really easy to get around. Um, all of these filters are connected to everything that they have involved. Um, yeah, thanks. Alrighty, thank you, Jackson, for that really great, like in-depth um, explanation of the dashboard and all of the dashboard features, how to read the dashboard, you know, what's included. I think that definitely helps when looking at the data and looking at, you know, like the different stats, um, being able to tell what the company did really well on, where it needs to improve on, and then specifically going into the dashboard and looking at the agent performance. I think with the agent performance, um, this dashboard does a really good job of breaking it down by the answer speed, by what department they're answering the calls from, and then the resolvement rate. So how fast it took that agent to resolve the issue and yes or no, if they were able to solve it or if they, the customer still had those unanswered questions that they needed further help on getting those answered. So we're going to start off um, this section by highlighting the good, the good in the company and what the company really did well on, whether that be um, a couple of them were the best performing department overall. We're going to come over here to this little graph chart the department performance resolve so if we scroll down here um, we can see the yes or no factors and then if we scroll over here we can see um, you know the other category of the washing machine so by looking at these pie charts the television department did the best with being able to resolve the customer's issue i think by having most of the numbers are in the 200s well, they're all in the 200s, but they range pretty close together. So that goes to show that we're doing a pretty good job of, you know, resolving those company questions using the agents to the best of their abilities to get those questions answered for our customers. And then our yes rate down here, um, again, with television being the top performing department here. Yes or no, um, whether that was resolved for the company. So um, television being the best department overall, I think if we break it down even more, we can go as far into breaking it down, you know, by agent performance. And by looking at this, we can break it down with the different like resolvement rates. You can break it down with the rating, how fast they answered the phones, how fast they helped the customer. You know, I think a big um, part of our company is urgency to the customer and making sure that we're always putting that customer first before anything else because our that's what we're all about is helping our customers resolve their issues, being able to answer their questions, and we want to do it timely. We want to do it fast, answer fast, um, and then answer their questions to the best of our abilities to help them with that. So if we look at our agents, Martha had the highest overall rating. She had a 3.4 satisfaction rating. So majority of our customers and clientele that they had the best experience working with Martha over the phone. Um, if we do compare it to, you know, the not um, performing rate, we can compare different rates back and forth all day long um, between that. But then we look at the cases. Um, different cases, case by case that was resolved. We see that Dan had resolved most of those cases. He had a really high rate of success in getting that yes mark that he did resolve the customer's question. And that is what we're looking for. We want a really high success rate. And then, you know, answer speed as well um, plays part. 
When we look at Diane, she has the fastest time of answering the calls being 63 seconds. Um, those are just some of the key highlights when we're looking at these so we can break it down with the different graphs, but mainly focusing on these pie charts here along with the different agents up at the top. Um, now we're going to kick it over to Tanner, who will take us to our next part. Well, thank you, Kenzie, for walking through and highlighting all of the good that Cool Call Center Services has been doing. As you can see, it's you guys are doing extremely well. Um, and we're really excited about the improvements that have been made. Um, and as you know, it's really, really important to always be making more improvements and to be always testing and validating um, your current process and, and finding ways to improve it. Um, and, and with that being said, you know, we want to offer a few recommendations um, for you guys moving forward. You know, Cool Call Center is a service that you offer to uh, many different customers and our our mission and our our main goal should be okay how how do we engage customers in a way that they will become returning customers and then how can we use the data that we've seen with our current customers and go around and and turn that into sales material where we can say hey look we are the fastest at answering the phone we are we have the best resolvement rate you know by by any call center service and you know, we're only going to be able to achieve that if we continue to to refine and to perfect our process. So with that being said, I want to focus on three different elements of this dashboard. The first one is going to be up here. It's going to be the average answer speed along with the average satisfaction rating, as well as department performance resolve and department performance answered. Um, so to start out, let's, let's look at the average answer speed. I think this is an area that... Um, cool call centers could definitely improve on. As you can see here, you know, we have Joe, for example, and it's taking him 71 seconds to pick up the phone. And for a customer who is calling about their television not working or their fridge not working, that 71 seconds could feel like a lifetime. And, you know, they may already be a little bit annoyed and frustrated with the product. And so calling customer service you know, you're just giving them more time to, to feel flustered and frustrated. And so that's one that could definitely be um, improved. With that being said, it's important to look at um, the resolve rate and the performance. So as you can see here in this pie chart, the, um, the department that is experiencing the lowest amount of um, resolve is actually air conditioning. So it's air conditioning, fridge, television, and then the toaster. And so if the air conditioning unit is, you know, the top on not getting resolved as often as the other ones, it, it made me think, okay, well, are our agents answering the phone? And if you look down, there's direct correlation between our agents answering the phone and the resolve rate. So naturally, if you answer the phone, you have um, a better chance to to help the customer out. And so this is something that we, we need to, to look at and to fix um, immediately. So the air conditioner, you know, we had 362 calls that came in. As you can see here, 110 were answered, or excuse me, 110 um, were not resolved and 252 were resolved. So then you come down here and you, you say, okay, well, how many were not just not answered? And it was 88. So 88 of the 110 unresolved claims were because agents just didn't answer. And let me see if I can even make this a little bit easier for you guys to see. So I'm going to come over here. Okay. So we're just looking at the air conditioner now. And so it's a little bit small here, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, but as you can see here, you have the no resolved and the yes resolved. And so there's quite a bit of not resolved for air conditioning. And so our recommendation is moving forward is to set up a way to help your agents pick up the phones and pick the phones up faster. So we got to get down to the, to the reason why phones aren't being answered. Is it because agents aren't, you know, trained enough on air conditioning units? And so they feel unconfident answering the phone or is it something else? Because air conditioning units are pricey and, you know, sometimes they, they are finicky. And so our agents need to be well-trained 
and prepared to be able to resolve more of those concerns. And so that's our recommendation. And so I don't know if there's the, you know, incentive plans to, to which agent can um, resolve the most claims or, or bonus structure, but that, that would definitely button up our performance. Anyway, thank you so much for your time.